Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and this is part 2 of our arithmetic sequence. And this time, we're going to solve for the other um, part of our arithmetic sequence. So for example, pag nawawala yung common difference or yung n, so paano natin siya isosolve? So gagamit pa rin tayo ng arithmetic sequence. So let's have this part 2. So answer the following using the given information. So our first item, we have our first term, which is 9. Our sixth term is 29. And we're asked to find the common difference ng ating arithmetic sequence. So, para masagutan natin to, since this is an arithmetic sequence, we will use the formula for arithmetic sequence. We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times t. Okay, so let's use this formula to solve for our common difference. So, Let's identify our given. So we're given the first term, which is 9. Our sixth term, which is 29. And our number of terms, since given tayo nung last term natin, okay? So our n will be equal to 6. Tapos, we're asked to find our common difference. So let's substitute this value to our formula. So we will have 29 is equal to 9 plus the quantity 6 minus 1 times t. So, d is missing. Okay. So, simplify natin yung nasa loob ng grouping symbol natin. So, we will have 29 is equal to 9 plus 9 minus 6 is 5. Then, we copy d. Okay. Now, let's um, remove 9 and place it to the other side of the equation by subtracting both sides by 9. So, 29 minus 9 will be 20. 9 minus 9 will be 0. Okay, so cancel out na yung ating 9. At ang matitira sa left side will be 5D. Now, let's remove the numerical coefficient to isolate the variable D. So, so let's divide both sides by 5 para matanggal yung ating numerical coefficient. And then, let's divide 20 by 5. 20 divided by 5, that will give us the value of our common difference, which is equal to 4. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have our second item. Let's find the common difference if we're given the first term, which is negative 18, and yung 11th term natin, which is 42. So, para masolve natin tong um, common difference natin, Ang gagamitin nating formula is we're going to use the arithmetic sequence formula. Kasi ito yung meron common difference. Tapos, let's identify our given. So, we're given the first term of our sequence, which is negative 18. And we're given the 11th term of our sequence, which is 42. Tapos, we can also have our n. Kasi yung n natin, it will be the 11th term. So, kunin lang natin yung 11. Tapos, let's substitute the given in our arithmetic sequence formula para makuha natin yung common difference. So, we will have 42 is equal to negative 18 plus the quantity 11 minus 1 times D. So, let's solve for the common difference. So, unahin natin isimplify yung nasa loob ng grouping symbol natin, which is 11 minus 1. So, we will have 42 minus 18 plus 10 times D. Tapos, lipat natin si negative 18 sa kabilang side by adding both sides by 18. So, let's combine. 42 plus 18, that will give us 60. Tapos, negative 18 plus 18, that will be 0. Okay, tapos bring down na lang natin si 10D. Tapos, let's remove the numerical coefficient of um, D, which is 10. And divide natin both sides by 10. So, 60 divided by 10, that will give us the value of D, which is equal to 6. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright. Let's find the common difference of this given. We are given the first term, which is 146, and yung ating 24th term, which is negative 15. So, para masolve natin yung ating common difference, gagamit tayo ng formula na arithmetic sequence formula, which is A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity N minus 1 times D. Now, let's um, identify our given. So, given tayo ng first term natin, which is 146. Yung ating 24th term, which is negative 15. And yung ating n. So, to get our n, since we're given the 24th term, 
gagamitin natin yung 24 as our number of terms. Okay, so yan na yung ating given. Na isa substitute natin sa ating formula. So we have negative 15 is equal to our first term 146 plus the quantity 24 minus 1 times d. Now let's solve for the value of d. So unahin natin i-combine yung 24 minus 1. So simplify natin yung 24 minus 1. That will give us negative 15 is equal to 146 plus 23 times d. Now, let's remove 146 and transfer natin sa kabilang side by subtracting both sides by 146. Negative 15 minus 146, that will be equal to negative 161. See, 146 naman minus 146, that will be equal to 0. So, cancel na lang natin, tas bring down si 23d. So, let's divide both sides by 23 para ma-cancel out yung ating numerical coefficient. Negative 161 divided by 23, that will give us the value of d which is equal to negative 7. And that's it! Nakuha na natin yung ating common difference. Tara! Alright! Okay, let's solve for the value of n. So, we're given the following. The first term, which is 7. Yung n term natin, which is 91. And we're given also the common difference, which is 12. Tapos, we're asked to find the number of terms in this sequence. So, para masagutan natin to, gagamitin nating formula is the arithmetic sequence formula. Which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So, let's identify our given. So, we're given the first term, which is 7. Our n is missing, our common difference is 12, and our a sub n is 91. So, yun yung isa substitute natin sa ating formula. So, substitute na natin. That will give us 91 is equal to 7 plus the quantity n minus 1 times 12. Yan. So, para masagutan natin to, let's um, distribute 12 to n minus 1, applying distributive property. So, we will have 91 is equal to 7 plus, so 12 times n will be 12n, 12 times negative 1 will be negative 12. Ayan. Tapos, pwede na natin i-combine yung like terms natin. So, combine natin si 7 at si negative 12. So, this will be 91, 7 minus 12, that will be negative 5 plus 12n. So, nakombine na natin yung like terms natin. Ilipat natin si negative 5 to the other side of the equation by adding both sides by 5. So, 91 plus 5, that will give us 96. Tapos, si negative 5 naman plus 5, it will be equal to 0. So, mga cancel na yan, ang matitira is si 12n. So, let's rewrite the equation. The equation natin is 96 is equal to 12n na. Okay, let's remove the numerical coefficient 12 by dividing both sides by 12. So, maka-cancel yung 12. And 96 divided by 12, that will give us the value of n which is equal to 8. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright, let's have our fifth item. So, we're given the following information. a sub 1 is equal to 49. a sub n is equal to negative 2. Our common difference is equal to negative 3. And we're asked to solve for the number of terms. So, para masagutan natin tong problem na to, we're going to use the arithmetic sequence formula. Which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times t. Now, let's substitute our given. Ano nga ba yung given natin? So, let ulit natin. So, we have 49 as our first term. N is missing. Our common difference is negative 3. And our num our n term is negative 2. So, substitute natin to dito sa ating formula. So, we will have negative 2 is equal to our first term which is 49 plus N minus 1 times negative 3. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply distributive property kay negative 3 and the group n minus 1. So, distribute natin si negative 3 kay n and negative 1. 
So we will have negative 2 is equal to 49 plus negative 3 times n, that is negative 3n, negative 3 times negative 1, that will be positive 3. So next natin gagawin is we can combine like terms. So pwede natin i-add si 49 at si positive 3. So 49 plus 3, that will be equal to 52. Now, let's transfer 52 to the other side of the equation, okay, by subtracting both sides by 52. Yeah. So, let's subtract. So, negative 2 minus 52, that will give us negative 54. Tapos, 52 minus 52, that will give us 0. Tapos, bring down na lang natin si negative 3n. Tapos, let's divide both sides by negative 3 para ma-isolate natin yung variable n. Now, negative 54 divided by negative 3. Negative divided by negative is positive. So, 54 divided by 3 is equal to our value of n, which is equal to 18. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.